So Maxam Corporation um, bought Pacific Lumber in a hostile takeover and then engaged in massive clear cutting and um, also raided the pensions of the employees um, and uh, sidled Pacific Lumber with all of the debt from Max Am, that Maxam had as a result of the other work that they did around um, the owner was involved with um, junk bond trading and um, you know, other dubious stuff, did this to other companies as well. Kaiser Aluminum in Washington State also suffered a similar fate, at the hands of Max Am. So in response, uh, our community, community in Humboldt, and then also a number of other people from outside of Humboldt County came to um, protect the redwood trees, the old growth redwood trees. And there was a campaign launched, you know, kind of calling people to come do that. Um, made up of locals, but then also a number of young people who were, you know, absolutely devastated to hear about what was happening to these trees that, you know, were older than any human beings alive um, came. So this is Julia Butterfly Kill. So I remember hearing about her um, when I was in high school. She actually um, sat in this tree uh, from December. Uh, so the tree's name was Luna. They named her the tree and uh, Julia Butterfly was in the tree for 738 days from December 10th, 1997 to December 18th, uh, 1999. 